All right, guys, I'm going to be short and brief. Update on day number four of the Master Cleanse. Um, this morning actually was kind of rough. Maybe it's because what I ate for dinner last night was uh, ate some pumpkin, some pumpkin soup. Oh, I did eat a lot of pumpkin soup. That wasn't last night? Yeah, pumpkin soup, and there was some potatoes mixed in there with it. No, it was potato soup, no pumpkin. There was no pumpkins? No. There was all potatoes? There's no pumpkin. Dang. I thought there was pumpkin. Okay. That makes sense now. Yeah, I woke up and um, I was immediately, I was hungry. Um, so, um, and that hunger feeling is detox. So I knew that it had something to do with what I, it moved to my system fast. Other than that, um... I did fairly well as far as maintaining my discipline. Didn't drink or eat anything um, until noon. At noon, obviously, we're doing the master cleanse. It's, it's the modified version. And I had um, my master cleanse. I'm feeling good right around this time. And I finished off, you know, a little, you know, the bottle, the, the big bottle that you, the, you know, the, the bottle neck bottle. I don't have it on me. But anyways, I finished that bottle off. And, um... The first thing that I had, and I'm feeling pretty good still. Um, the hunger went away. You know what I mean? It always passes. The de This so-called hunger thing is just detox. It passes. Anytime, let's say you say, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. If you just pay attention to the way it actually feels, it'll only be there for no more than like really 30 minutes. Um Definitely no more than an hour, but 30 minutes tops and the, that hunger passes or the detox passes. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that happened and I, I did good uh, for the rest of the day. Um, at six o'clock, I had a banana, a three fourths of a bananas. And um, I got home and I had about five nuts. And right now I put on some pumpkin. I'm actually going to eat pumpkin right now. And um, there was a baked potato that was cooked last night. And instead of letting it stay where it was, I'm just going to warm it up and um, put some sea salt on it and whatever, what have you. So um, that's what I'm going to have tonight. And what we did, what I did on this master cleanse, I'm using it. I'm calling it a master cleanse because I'm using the ingredients that's, re that's used in a master cleanse. Cayenne, agave, um spring water or distilled water you know just a clean water agave um key lime and um like i said dry fasting until noon from noon to evening you do the master cleanse and you can which is that drink and you can do that throughout the day for the rest of the day as much as you want or that needs for your comfort and then you can eat which is not actually in the master cleanse but that is my modified version of it um, because the goal is to transition. I'm, it's a long-term ordeal, so we're transitioning um, certain experiences. Now, this is day number four. Like I said, I feel good. Do I need to eat? No, I'm not. I, I didn't need to eat. Uh, you know, the banana was kind of helped me out a little bit. Uh, but after I ate the pecans, then I was good. But um, and I'm going to get a little fat off the pumpkin and uh, the potatoes. And um, we'll see how, how I wake up in the morning. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to do is update you guys. He took it off his son. On that. So um, yeah, if you have any questions... Just let me know. Just follow my journey. Really follow my journey. If you want to get on it, um, hit me up. Peace, love, happiness, and wellness.